You ever had one of those days when the skies are cloudy and it's kind of been raining off and on and some of your major projects you got going on outside, you can't really get started on them because by the time you do, it starts to rain. I got a little project you can try and you might actually enjoy doing it. Coming right up. Almost all decks and balconies will eventually grow a little bit of mold on them. And it's not a big deal, especially if it's made with treated wood, but it does make the deck a little bit more slippery when it does get wet. You know, if you walk out there and you spend some time with your bare feet, the bottom of your feet are going to end up turning green. So it's kind of nice every once in a while to get out there and kind of scrub it off. Even the handrail, you know, where you go up and you you kind of lean against the handrail like that. Kind of want this area right here to be nice and clean and not really have any of that green mold or fungus on it. So I'm going to show you the technique that I use to clean this up a little It's bit. a pretty simple solution. What I use is a brush like this one right here. And if you notice the brush actually has a curve on it where the handle's straight and then it actually curves down a little bit and then levels back out. I'll just take a normal extension pole this and I'll put some Gorilla Tape on it, get it nice and secure on there. And what's nice is that way there, whenever you're standing up above, you don't have to be down low to scrub. You can actually be at an angle and it scrubs it off pretty good. Anyways, I'm not sure where I got this. I'm sure you could pick a brush up like this at any automotive store, probably any Walmart, any Dollar General. Pretty inexpensive little brush. And a pole, you could use anything. You can even use a stick if you needed to. I'll show you how this works. I took a bucket and I put some Dawn dish soap in there. Now and they also have some that are a little bit more mild. So I'm actually using the more mild solution that they have. The actual soap itself was green in color. But it's pretty mild. And the reason you won't want to use anything real strong, most of the time underneath the deck, underneath the balcony, you do have plants growing, you have grass growing, so you don't want anything down there that's really going to go down there and kill what's ever below. So I'll just take it, dip some on there, and you just start scrubbing. This is where that handle's nice, because if you notice, I don't really have to bend down an awful lot in order to get to it. That the soap right there instantly starts to turn green. And that's the fungus, and that's the mold that's on the deck. Good little rainy day project. Heck, it could even be raining out here and it wouldn't matter. What's nice too is this brush actually is small enough to go underneath the handrail. Most of the time the handrails are built so when you stand by them, your feet can go underneath them for a little extra room so you can get closer to the handrail. And so this brush happens to work just right because it'll go underneath there. The power washer would work good. Now you can't really tell too much the difference between where I just did and the section I haven't done yet, but once it dries, you'd really be able to see. Transparent stain or a semi-transparent stain. Never put paint on there if you can keep from it because paint is only going to be a problem. It's going to become a maintenance problem down the road. There you go there's a rainy day project for you it'll be nice to have it all cleaned up for you hey i appreciate you coming to the channel laf space film fest 
That's capital L-E-M, Space Film Fest. Hit that subscribe button, hammer it down. I appreciate it. Helps me to put out little mini videos like this, just in case you're wondering, how do I get that green stuff off my balcony? This is the easy way to do it. Yeah, this is a nice little project. Won't take very long. It'll get that green stuff off your balcony for you. That way you can sit out there on a nice evening and not worry about getting the bottom of your feet dirty or even your white socks you might be wearing. Okay, on to the next chore.